Welcome YouTube. It's been a couple days. I kind of I, I just went on summer break, so I'm not streaming as much. Um I'm a little bit less. I'm gonna get back into the the the, the waves, but it's like I wanna hang out with my friends and we always hang out at night. So my streams might be in the morning like they are now. Uh, which doesn't matter for you guys, because you just watch the VOD, but, um, today we're playing a normal Lost Phone. Now, I checked, and it has audio and music, but the music kind of, like, is very loud, and I can't lower it or anything, so we are not gonna listen to that. I'm just gonna make sure it works. And then, um, oops, I gotta open the game first. Uh, I'm just gonna make sure it works, and then we're just gonna play. It's a puzzle game. It was made in 2017. It was kind of in that era in like 2016, 2017, where they would make puzzle games that were like depressing and had like this dark topic. So basically, we're just gonna reset real quick. I already did this once just to make sure, but you re you're gonna race, and it gives you a little achievement for a reset, which is cool. Uh, but yeah, you just also some characters might be homophobic, misogynistic, bigoted. I gotta keep my headphone out. I'm home alone right now. Uh, so I really should keep an, an ear out for the alarm or anything. What's up, Stroke? How you doing? Welcome. We're just starting. So there is there is audio, but it's too loud and it's crappy. So we're just not going to play it. We're just going to keep listening to stream beats. Harris Heller. Uh, you received 40 messages from Dad. Let's accept those. Okay. Let's scroll all the way up. Can we go all the way up? Yeah. I have a new phone. I have a new phone. I got my number. Sam from Dad. Why are you texting me from your bedroom, Dad? I just sent my new number to all my contacts. It wasn't just for you. Why are you replying to me from your bedroom? Are you kidding me? Me? Never. <laughs> Dad. All right. Uh. Okay. So they don't text much. Uh. Oh. Okay. This is 20 days later. This is in a different format. 20 days later. Happy birthday, Dad. Thank you, Dad. Uh, mom wants to know if Melissa will dine with us tonight. Dad, I'm slowly dying and drowning. Uh, uh, what? Drowning, he sleep deprived. Struck, it doesn't take that long to just like check what you're writing, you know? <laughs> I'm good. I'm, uh, I'm very tired. I was saying this before uh, the VOD started, but I was out very late with my friends last night. So I'm a little bit, I'm a little bit tired. And I was uh, out late with my friend. Or I was like, I was getting pretty messed up with my friend two days ago and i have more friends coming tonight so man it's been it's it's a lot it's a lot happy i think monday we're going to the beach i think tomorrow's the only day that i don't have anything like big so i think tomorrow i'm gonna try to do some stream stuff i'm gonna stream hopefully it's a sunday so we don't know but yeah also for vod uh i was gonna do thief simulator i said that last week i was gonna do thief sim but um we were gonna do Mario Kart today, and then I was like, okay, I'm gonna do Mario Kart, and then I would do this puzzle game, which is a little shorter, so that I have time to set up for my friends later. Now we're just doing this because Mario Kart, they canceled. So, yeah, that's that's why everything's kind of all over the place. I swear, we'll get back on track soon. Um, but, yeah. Mom wants to know if Melissa will dine with us today. Uh, no, we've not been getting along recently. Be strong, son. Women are complicated sometimes. Your mother's still a complete mystery to me. Men can be complicated sometimes, too. You're a brave boy and Melissa's a girl. She'll come back soon, trust me. I can't connect to my emails anymore. You'll have to help me when you're back. Mom would like to know if Melissa could send her the chocolate cake recipe she made for my birthday. Oh, this guy's just not responding. Uh, Mom told me to remind you about your dentist appointment today. Do you get my message about the dentist? Why aren't you answering? I saw that I was in class. Sorry. Okay. Your mom's made an appointment at the hairdresser for you at 10 a.m. tomorrow. What? But I told you a million times I don't want to get my hair cut. Make an effort and make your mom happy. I'm picking up groceries for tomorrow's party. I wonder how many people will be there. Is Melissa planning on coming? She's not coming. How come? She seems to be the perfect guy for girl for a guy like you. Mom and I thought she was very nice, polite, be well behaved, and pretty. Just what every man's looking for in a wife. I really don't want to talk about it. Okay. Ari, I'm tired of AF. I've had three hours of sleep. I slept for another three a few minutes ago. I stink. Okay. And I want my Wi-Fi to work. Okay. Well, you can still uh, be better. I don't know. <laughs> you never seem to pay much attention to girls in general. We thought you were really into Melissa. We thought you were good together. What happened? Stop. Okay. Happy birthday, son. I'm so proud of the man you've become. We're celebrating. We'll celebrate properly tonight, and I'm prepared. And be prepared for a big party for your 18th. Thanks, Dad. Where are you? Everyone's looking for you. Samuel, where are you? Where did you go? We're all really worried. Tell us everything is fine. Your mom wants to call the police. Poof. All right, let's call him. Insufficient credit. Call unavailable. Okay, we can't call him. Oh, boy. Okay, so Sam, Sammy boy was with melissa and then uh that's his phone i guess and uh so basically this is a puzzle game so i think we're just kind of unlocking everything that happened in this guy's life 
it's one of those games you remember that happened in like 2016 they just made a bunch of those i think they had like one about like em emily is here or something emily is lost maybe something like that i don't know they had something like that but yeah this is 2017 so it's the same vibe avenue number okay this is Catherine. i feel like all these two messages won't matter thanks for letting me know oh what's this New number, I heard your friend Alice, like Thomas. Did she tell you anything? Is she a nice girl? What? She's great, but she should have told she would have told me. Who told you that? Oops, forget it. Maybe I'm wrong. No way who told you that. Okay. And board games. Great. Max Cello. Um Our music theater teacher is friends with Norgard, the orchestra director. Uh Okay, it's just some music stuff. Okay. It does type like someone who is this old, honestly. Fuck this dad. Uh, I mean, he's just trying to be like, he's just trying to talk to his kid. He just doesn't know how, you know? Could you bring back that game from last week? Can't remember the name. Okay. Your mom's cakes are so good. Oh, thanks. I'll tell you. You truly are a monster. I'm so disgusted. I've discovered your true face today. Don't ever set back foot back in this club or i'll have to tell your little secret to everybody Ooh, sam has a little secret what did sam do this is for the board game club i'll put away my salt for you and make a big ass of salt for my hate on fictional characters what did, okay all right hey sam i asked her for your number i was thinking my parents are a bit anxious about next saturday they don't like me going there with people they don't know do you think i could tell them to contact your parents so they'll calm down like don't worry your daughter's in safe hands with sam around Sorry, I don't think so. They don't know where I'm going this weekend. I told my mother I was going to book festival. Shit, so you just lied to your mom? Your situation is even worse than I thought. Okay, well, hope to see you on Saturday. Okay. This is book club. There's a lot of stuff happening. They have board game night on Sunday, but one of the board game people hates him. And then he's also in book club. And also his girlfriend left. Uh, this has a lot of messages. Let's go through this. New number, and then reply as soon as you see this message. Hi, Sam. I'm here. Not doing much. Are you okay? Yes, what? I've just been texting Sebastian. He told me about the party last Friday. I want to know if you're okay. Don't even mention his name, okay? I don't know what he's told you, and I don't give a shit. Well, I just want to make sure he didn't hurt you or do something, anything stupid. He seems to be really furious. He is furious? Him? He can die, and you can fuck off. I didn't expect this from you, Sam. Helen, I'm on your side. I'm trying to be supportive. I'm worried about you. That's why I'm messaging you. Sorry, Sam. That bastard made me feel like shit. He was like a gentleman at the beginning of the night, but he became unbearable, and soon. As you got drunk, making comments and touching me everywhere and holding me tight while dancing. I was feeling uncomfortable, but I didn't want to say anything. It was supposed to be a great night. I'm sorry to hear you made you feel like that. Then I had enough, so I lied and said I had to go to the bathroom, but I wanted to leave. He said he was he said he was going to the toilet too and came with me, but he came into the ladies' toilet and then grabbed my arm and started kissing me and pushing me to one of the stalls. That must have been terrible. Thanks, Sam. Unfortunately, we heard someone come in the restroom and that man stopped. He was drunk, so I was able to push him on one side and escape. I picked up my stuff and left. I don't know if he was caught or what happened behind me i was scared and just wanted to get away did you make it home safely i was a bit drunk just buzzed but i came home okay i felt terrible and i probably triggered that situation is my fault after all what no what what made you what makes you say that i came home early and my dad was awake i was very embarrassed but he asked what's the matter so i said you guys have been molesting me and tried to touch me and grow my ass and he said well i told you that dress was too much and now you're upset listen helen you're not responsible for what happened shouldn't feel ashamed okay do you ask anyone else for help melissa okay so his ex or whoever she is she uh is friends with helen no please don't tell anything i don't want to talk about this with anyone she'll come for you i'm sure but don't be afraid i think she'll understand being able to help you even better than i can thanks Sam. i appreciate you listening most people would laugh if they knew what happened i feel a little bit awful less awful talking to you okay okay damn that's this is sebastian so we got to hear from sebastian okay harry book club are you joining us this weekend? Have you got your parents' permission? Yeah, I've got permission for a book festival, quote unquote. Um, oh, so he did end up going. So they had they had some little party or something. And that's where, I assume that's where Sebastian did the thing with Helen. This whole game is literally just figuring out everything that happened. Okay. Are you coming to a Christmas party? Oh, okay, it's a Christmas party. I'm going with Helen. Sorry, I totally forgot. I guess you could tell... Oh, I didn't go. I spent the day at a f book festival. Okay. What the heck? This guy actually spent the day at a, a, at a book festival? What a fucking loser. 
Yeah, it was okay, just okay. Sort of, Helen didn't feel well at this some point. Oh, lame, I knew you guys were looking forward to going together. That's what I thought. Weren't you? Yeah, yeah, but things went wrong and she wasn't feeling well. You said that already, but she was feeling sick, food poisoning? That bitch left in the middle of the party. What? Sorry, that's not a very nice way to talk about your girlfriend. <laughs> yeah. Can you fucking believe it? She's not my girlfriend. We're just dating on and off, she said. Well, calm down. Do you want me to- Do you want to tell me what happened or just shut up? She's a cock tease, that's what happened. She's been jumping hints for weeks, making comments, making me fucking horny. She was saying how special the night was gonna be and how much fun we were gonna have. And that doesn't make, mean anything. Well, what'd you, what would you expect? After midnight, we were dancing party and she was constantly rubbing her body against me. She was dressed for sex and almost dry humping. It's hard to imagine her in that situation. Then she said she needed to go to the bathroom. What do you mean it's hard to imagine? That... I don't know if that's a word I can say. She was fucking drunk and had worn it for weeks. I went with her and she got all nervous, told me to go, and then she left. I fucking had condoms. It was gonna be fun and we were both into it. Obviously she wasn't. What the hell do you mean? You weren't there to so shut up, you know, when they want it. I bet you see in Mel Melissa's eyes too. They're such good friends. Reading drama. Yeah, it's just, it's a lot of teenage drama stuff and parties and stuff. Calm down, don't involve Melissa in this. You're the one who has a problem. I think you screwed it up last night with Helen. Yeah, I screwed up and that's the only thing I screwed because that slut didn't want to finish what she started. You and your stupid girlfriend can fuck off too. I bet you don't even screw her, you F slur. Melissa and Helen spent the whole day whispering on my back, but wouldn't tell talk to me. I'm sure you know what they're up to, Mr. Meddler. Okay. God damn. Fuck, dude. <laughs> a rough st I'm telling you, these games, these phone games always get so rough. Uh, happy new year. Say hi to your parents for me. Thank you very much, Warren. Likewise. Uh, okay. And then some boring texts that no one gives a shit about. And then... Dear Sam, your grandma showed us a photo from your last concert. We really like it. Hello, I was just taken by a good photographer, but thank you. Now you've grown up a lot and look wonderful. Vlad is very proud of you. He gets nostalgic when you see someone with the harp. Uh, he didn't play harp, he's played many instru instruments, but not the harp, but it probably is his favorite, that's why he never touched one and always held harpists in such a high regard. Uh, your dad told us you're very talented, so you're now you're gonna have to play for Vlad next time. Uh, and then he never replied to the very happy new year text. Is Sam dead? Oh, there's an issue with Alice board games. Um... Good thing you left early, big drama went down afterwards. Shit, Lola told you everything. Lola, I have no idea what you're talking about. It's Anne who lost her shit. What's the deal with Lola? Nothing, something personal about her. I wish to talk about it. what happened with Anne. So, okay, wait, holy fuck. This is literally just teenage drama, bro. Like, I gotta rem remember all these fucking names and shit. Okay, so there's something that happened with Lola, Lola, but Anne also lost her shit. And this guy left early from a party on January 31st. So, okay. Um, last week she came to me and told me Thomas had a crush on me. He's not really my type, so today I went to say to him nothing could happen between us. Uh, he didn't take the news badly at all because guess what? He had no idea what I was talking about. He actually confessed that he's been seeing Anne for the past three weeks. Wait, what? Okay, so Anne said... Okay, okay, alright. Why did Anne tell you he had a crush on you then? I talked to her right after, it seems... She was convinced I wanted to see her boyfriend and he was interested and it was her way of tw testing her loyalty. Or his loyalty. Okay. Uh, who does something like this? She's completely out of her mind. Then again, my girlfriend Melissa is almost as jealous as- So some maybe she'd do something that bad. You have a girlfriend? I didn't know. Uh, yeah, sorry. I never told you about her. That's cool. I was just a bit surprised. I don't know why. I always thought you'd be more into guys. I think I like both. I don't know yet. And uh, keep this to yourself. Why weren't you here today? I couldn't. I'm sorry. Will you be coming back in January? I don't know, I'm a bit annoyed with Lola about something. Don't care about Lola, I like it when you're there, come play with me. Thanks, but I don't think I'll come to play again. We, we'll keep hanging out together elsewhere, won't we? Who's gonna teach me the game rules now? Your instructions were always the best. Okay, I, I understand, yes, we'll keep in touch, promise. Here is an apology I picked from the latest Tonio show. I know you're a fan. Oh, he's like a little, he's a little guitarist. You've been to a Tonio show? Now I'm jealous. Merry Christmas, Happy New Year. Hey, how come you're not replying? Alice, why aren't you texting back? Interesting. Okay. So our main character is bisexual or pan. Uh, and... Interesting. Oh, this is this is interesting. This is a... Uh, I don't want to ever hear from you again. There's 119 messages to go through here. We'll probably have to do that last. You should play episode? What's that? I've never heard of it. Is it like kind of like these games where you kind of go through? I like these story games. I've played a lot of story games. Um... 
And also, yeah, welcome, Shrek. Hi, belated New Year. Do you know if we're going to the museum next week? I lost my schedule. We're going in two weeks. Really looking forward to it. Cool, me too, man. Last time was awesome. I found the talk about college quite useful. I'm seriously considering biology as an option. I always like biology. I get good grades without much effort. Would you stay in Melrin? I don't know, but at least one semester abroad would be awesome. All right. We're going to skip Melissa because that's a lot to get through and we'll do that last, I think. There's a lot of shit here now. Oh, God. Oh, my God. We still have so much to read. <laughs> Fucking hell. All right, let's try to run through some of these easier ones. Uh, you're still at the club. I think I forgot my umbrella. I left, but I was just staying longer. Um... Okay. Kinda, it's a story game with some masochism. <laughs> Interesting. Okay. I assume some of the uncle stuff won't matter. What we want to read is one thing with Lola and probably one thing with, uh, with, um, Melissa. I don't think any of this is going to matter. Uh, I don't think this is going to matter. That's only five messages. That's two. Yeah, that doesn't matter. That's five. Who's Chloe? Is there anything interesting that we see immediately get our eye? I just don't feel like reading everything. This is two messages. This is 15. Uh, I'm just reading his side and seeing if there's anything that sounds like he's in a fight or anything. It doesn't look like it. Um, yeah, this doesn't matter. Okay, this doesn't matter. I'm like at this age, I'm a little bit older. I'm like just left from high school. So this is interesting. The story that they're trying to tell the world they're trying to build just through looking through a phone. Pretty cool. I like this kind of story. I think they kind of got burnt out in like 2016 because they did so many of them. They had so many of these kind of stories, but it's a cool, it's a cool uh, thing. Okay. This doesn't matter too much. Tio, 45 messages. Oh boy. Uh, we want to go watch a race. Which race? Are you kidding me? It's the world championship. I'm not a big fan. Um, I want to ask you about your brother. Uh, was he always... Well, he was always nice to me. Why? Wait. I hardly remember anything. He left when I was a kid and my parents never talked about him. They felt betrayed. I hardly remember him either, but he was always nice to me. Why betrayed? They were really great parents and he still ran away. I asked once and my mother said he was sort of brainwashed and joined a cult. That's it. The bastard abandoned the family and we don't exist for him anymore. This morning I found an invite to his wedding in the mailbox. What the hell are you talking about? Have you not seen it? No, and I don't want to see it. I don't give a shit. Don't you think that's strange? He's inviting us to his wedding, but it's, it's not like he doesn't care about us. He left. That's all I care about. Sorry to you. I don't want to upset you, but please check the card for me. There's something doesn't fit. I don't even know if we got one. Maybe he only sent it to you. I'll have to check. I found it yesterday in the waste paper basket in my dad's stu studio ready to go to the shredder. Did you get it? No, I left it there, of course. Dad was just coming home. I'm dead if he catches me looking around there. But you at least look, at least read it. It doesn't exactly look so, like some cult ritual. I understand what you mean. No, it doesn't. Can we talk about it during the weekend when you're here? It's late and I want to sleep. We're in Melrin, stuck in traffic. What's the password for the public Wi-Fi? I haven't tried it yet, but I guess it hasn't changed. It's Melrin's zip code. Easy. Sam, can you call? No, not enough credits. Uh, everything okay? No, I got in touch with Eric. What? Uh, but after we talked, after we talked about last weekend, I checked again. The invitation was still there, so I wrote down the contact details. Uh. No minutes left until next month, but using the landline here is risky. My parents are home. My parents too. We can talk tomorrow. I'm meeting my friend Alice. She's got a flat rate plan. So yeah, this is, uh, got so much work to do. Gonna lurk. Okay, thank you for the lurk. This is very, um, this is like, it's, it says it's 2015, 2016, but it's kind of like old school. It's landline, it's credits. We didn't have credits in fucking 2015 and 2016. I don't think we did. Um... Just call me tomorrow whenever you can. Is that the friend of yours I met once? The one who plays harp? No, it's Victoria. Okay. Okay. So here's what I'm thinking. Our main character is bisexual. Like they have some LGBT characters. It's possible that Eric ran away because he was in like a homophobic, you know, household. Maybe transphobic. I don't know. Maybe he didn't join a cult. Maybe the quote-unquote cult was just being part of the LGBT community, you know? Uh, oh, our side... Wait, what the heck? Okay. Are you coming on Sunday? Alice said you might not come. Why not? You have to come. And then he's talking a lot. Sorry, I was busy. Yeah, like Alice said, I'm probably not coming. But why? You can't miss it. Miss what? 
Did she not tell you? Tell me what. She's great. I actually asked her not to tell you anything, but then she said you might not come, and I thought she would have told- Oh my god. Tell you what. We need you. I want to bring the game I've been designing with my brother. So let's prototype. Oh my god. He typed so much. If it's good, I'll buy it. My friends used to play that in middle school. It's personally, to me, kind of a cringe game last time I played, but I'm a changed woman, so I don't mind it, you know? Are you talking about episodes still? I don't know if that's what you're talking about. Okay. Rachel! I can't contact, Mel contact Melissa, it's urgent. She's at her grandma's, grandma's but probably busy. She's moving out after grandfather died. Um, can you get me the notes? Is it just me or do you only talk to me when you need something? After reading my la latest messages, I admit I was questioning it. I'm really sorry. Thanks for not telling me to get lost and for always being there when I need you. You're an awesome friend. I'm really sorry. Okay. And then they didn't talk ever again. <laughs> and now we get to the big one. Melissa. Let's hear everything that happened here. Meet right in front of the cinema this evening. Okay. I just found this in my bag. Did it come from you by any chance? Oh, this is so cute. Yeah, I slipped into your bag at the theater yesterday and went to the bathroom. Why, did I miss an important date yesterday? Like our first kiss or something? No, I just want to make you happy. Oh, uh, God, this is... I hate... I hate... I hate relationships. Fuck you. <laughs> Stop. Oh, uh, fuck. God damn. I'm so... I'm like the Grinch when it comes to relationships, dude. Um. Okay. Based on the picture we took during the holidays. Speaking of, I lost that picture when I switched phone. Send it to me. I took it with my camera. Blah, blah, blah. Uh... Is, we should probably get to the the fight part, huh? Rachel tried to get to her. Uh, and her Melissa's uh, grandpa died, so. Uh, ooh, okay. It's it's a lot of one message to one message, which is weird. I don't think anyone ever texts like that. Anyway, uh, what'd you do? I went out and played board games with who? Thomas and Martin. Wasn't Alice there? Yes. So why'd you lie to me? I didn't lie to you. Why didn't you tell me from the start that Alice was there? Are you hiding something from me? Exactly. You get jealous every time I mention Alice. I told you a thousand times Alice is just a friend, but she's my best friend. I don't want to stop seeing you. really need to stop trying to talk me out of it. Sorry, I'm stupid. I just need reassurance sometimes. You know, I'm, I've never known men-women relationships before you and that Alice. You're my only one. Aw. Now I'm sure I'd be less jealous if you introduced her to one to me one day. I'm sure it'll happen soon anyway. Soon enough. Yeah, but why not right now? Because it's already 10 p.m. You're right. I'm off to bed. Ew. <laughs> Gummy bear. Fucking hell. God, I hate. It's so real, though. It's so real. I've seen my friend's text. I know how this goes. Only 10 days. You're even more excited than I am. You know it's just a movie. You mean the most awaited movie in the history of the galaxy? It's going to be great. I've just thought your cousin Tio, is he going to be at your dad's birthday party? No, why? He makes me uncomfortable. I feel like he's trying to undress me with his eyes every time he looks at me. It's true he's a bit strange, but don't worry, he's not going to be there. Tio. I don't know if we read anything from Tio. Tomorrow's a big day. Should we meet in front of the theater? Yes, I'm going, I'm going in cosplay. You'll embarrass me. I don't care. I've got my math textbook in my locker. Are you still at school? Can you get it for me? Sure, I'll get it. Do you change your locker password? You put Alice's birthday, didn't you? What? No, not at all. It's still your birthday. It's just first the month, then the day. Oh, okay. He switched it because for them, they see the day first, which is weird. I don't like it. You always say January 1st, not the 1st of January. I got it. Thanks, see you tonight. Thanks for coming to my dad's birthday tonight. Your cake was so good. You're welcome. My pleasure. Your dad ate three servings. Can you send me the photo of my dad blowing out the candles? The one I took on myself was off, so I deleted it. Uh, okay. It's a shame my grandma couldn't make it. I'm sad she can't get out more. I just thought of it. Do you think she'll want the photos of you at the concert too? Oh yeah, you remind me. She's been asking for them for the last six months. I saw Helen today. She told me what happened with Sebastian. I figure I can tell you about it, but she said she's already talked. You'd already talked it over. This whole thing sucks. Why didn't you tell me yesterday? Yeah, it's seriously not cool. I didn't want to tell you before Helen did to respect her privacy. Believe me, I wanted to tell you badly. It made me so mad. I get it. It's actually kind of cool they don't share other people's secrets. She also told me that it was you who convinced her to come talk to me. Well done. I really think I found the right words to help her. Uh, which gets me thinking to convince her. Did you tell her about you know what? No, I don't share other people's secrets. I got my results. I can't bring myself to open them. You're right. Well, I'm opening. Well, negative. Oh no, you want me to come see you? I just want to curl up into a ball and cry by myself right now. Negative. Is she, she's sad about negative. Were they trying to get a? Were they trying to have a child? Oh my gosh. 
I don't leave you alone at a time like this. I'm taking a shower and coming. No, seriously, don't come. Truth is, I don't even have the time to cope into a ball between stress over the results and the talk with K Helen. I haven't had time to pack for tomorrow, and I really need to take care of it. If you need to talk, call me. I'll call you before bed. See ya. I'm at the airport thinking of you. We'll see each other for New Year's. Happy Christmas to my gummy bear. Oh. <laughs> I can't wait for tomorrow. I miss you. I have a big surprise tonight. Something to really celebrate the New Year. You don't want to know what it is? Sending you a photo clue. I mean, I'm sorry, but I'm not coming. I know you're looking forward to tonight, but it's time to admit things. We're at very different points in our lives, and we don't want the same things anymore. We're not the teams we were before. I realize how horrible it was to tell you this way, but I'm too much of a coward to say things face to face. I hope you still enjoy uh, your evening and find joy in 2016. Wait, you're dumping? You're kidding, right? Are you dumping me? What the hell? Everything was fine until now. Did something happen during the holiday? You can't leave me. We love each other. Nothing happened during the holiday. I just don't feel the same way as I did before. Wait, you can't just break everything between us on an impulse. Come to my place and we'll talk it out. No, I made up my mind, and I want to spend the evening alone. Sorry. Fuck you. I know it seems really stupid to tell you everything right now, but I'm really sorry for everything that happened. You're awesome and you deserve better than an asshole like me. I'm really sorry I made you suffer that much. Tell me what tell me what I can do to help you get better. Just ask, you know, I'd move mountains for you. What I want is you. You are and you've always been the only person I want in my life. Anything but that. If I can do anything else to apologize to help you get better, just say it. I don't want to ever hear from you again. Please don't write to me. Don't come to me at school. Stay away. You're toxic, Sam. You're the worst thing that ever that's happened to me. Okay. Cool. We have uh, made it through the fucking text. I don't know why I always play games that make me read. I'm so bad at reading. But all right, let's uh, let's start looking. Music. I forgot that I can't even really listen to music because it, it breaks. It just sounds bad, so I turned it off. Uh, lovebirds, connection, Sam thing, Sam thing else. Okay, login offline. Calculator! Any any last calculations? No, I guess not. Oh, we can, uh, if we find out Melrin's IP address, we can get some Wi-Fi. What's in the browser? Nothing, okay. Email! I mean, no internet, so. We really need internet, that's what we need. Gallery! Alright, what have we got? We've got, wait, what's the last one? Wait, that image isn't there when I scroll. Okay, weird. You got them playing board games, a motorcycle, a, a birthday. Oh, it goes up there, okay. Some artwork. Nice. And, okay. I don't think the images really do anything for us. Settings. All right. Uh, we can. Okay. We can do different languages. Network. Uh, we have to. My my box. Q X Q and then. Or okay. I don't know what that means. Cause I think that's some shit that I would only know if I'm old. <laughs> there it is. Zip code. Two nine zero six four. Okay. Let's get into. Oh. Okay. I don't need to type it. Two nine zero six four. Accept. All right. We got Wi-Fi. We're online! There's some light rain, all of them. Some other registered cities, all with their own zip codes. Okay, we finally have Wi Fi. We can look through a lot more now. What's on the calendar? What's on the docket? Book club, feed Ringo movie with Melissa, party with Melissa, dentist appointment, Tio Raymond and. Sh uh, who is it? Charlotte? I'll arrive. Call Tio. Movie with Alice. Wait, but didn't he break up with her? When did he break up with her? My 18th. When did he break up with her? Where's Tio, by the way? I think Tio's probably somewhere around here. <laughs> oh, yeah, he's here. So this guy made Alice uncomfortable. Oh, this was the brainwash guy. Okay. Cool, cool, cool. Alright. These games are like suit like I get I, I love the world building. It's it's always when did he break up with her? Alright. Uh on the seventh, twenty sixteen. But that's here. But then he has another movie with her here? Like, way late. Like, 20 days after the breakup? What the fuck? Interesting. 
Alright, welcome to the open Wi-Fi city of the city of Melrin. Wi-Fi network. Alright, so I'm sure we could search things up if we need to. Let's go through email. Oh, fucking hell, more reading. Uh, drafts. I just sent an email. I shouldn't have done that. Whoops. Okay. Happy birthday, Sam. So as of being 18, by the way, really sorry I can come tonight. I'm too beat yesterday. I was still emptying through every, <laughs> every hole. Okay. Charming. And don't worry about tonight. I get it. The party just started. As I feared, it's pretty crummy. Uh, I'm a little tired of how they keep telling me there it is your man a real one now. It's like a broken record Think some are drunk already then I'm not missing much also since we won't be seeing each other tonight I want to tell you something important I've given a lot of thought the last few days while I was sick. I was thinking you attach too much important to dates. Oh, okay new email. Oh It's this one Wait, what the heck? Okay. Oh wait, this is to Alice. Oh the movie this was with Alice wasn't it not Melissa I'm an idiot Okay, um, given a thought the last few days while I was sick, and I was thinking you attached too much importance to dates and signs of fate. I think you make too many stupid to use the words choices based on what you think the calendar is telling you to. You know your team now, I think you can't make all your important choices based on what you think a superior entity has chosen for you. Anyway, okay, thank you for your advice, but you know I don't attach that much importance to dates. I've got to go, folks are calling me out on keeping a, glue, a phone glued to my face instead of enjoying the evening. Uh, what are you betting it is? And yes, you attached too much points to the dates. I'm pretty sure half your passage are dates that matter to you. Well, I hope you get a cool present anyway. So something happened like... Wait. <laughs> wait, hang on. <laughs> we sent this two minutes ago. Wait, when did they... They were talking earlier today. So how did we get this phone? Okay. Um, Let's see if there's anything important. Friendly reminder for something. Account activate for BU. Please don't forget that we will be taking class photos. Okay, I don't care. Oops, I didn't mean to go all the way out. That was an image. Can I download it? I can. Okay. Let's just add all of them. All of Melissa's photos. Uh... My phone broke during the holidays and I lost your number. A friend just let me borrow an old phone. Alice, you're alive. Do you keep the same number? Can we write to each other and send text? Yeah, I kept the same number. The bad news is the keyboard in my phone I'm borrowing is completely broken, so I can't send text. Okay. Um. To Alice. Oh, it's, it's about Melissa. Okay. Again to Alice. Uh, you're really awesome. I tried talking to Melissa, but she doesn't want to ever hear about me again. I feel so bad. Call me. I think I still need to talk. Okay. Even if I- wait, wait, wait. Hang on, hang on. I was surprised by your big com confession. Did he fall for Alice? That is an L. That is dumb. Why would you do that, you idiot? <laughs> okay, um... Okay, so he, he got an offer for a musician thing. Here's a demo. We'll listen to it later. <laughs> to Victoria. I really haven't talked to him in a while. I feel guilty. How are you doing? And he, he wanted to talk about the studio that uh, talked to him. Super glad to hear from you. You're right. You haven't seen each other since the June concert. It's awesome about the loud note thing. I'm happy for you. I just asked a friend who works at Loud Note. He knows Fior Vitolo and it's not a scam. They really want to pay for your music. Nice. It's not a scam. Profile activation, Sam thing. Dear Sam thing. Greetings and welcome to Lovebirds. Interesting. Uh, I think I already clicked that one. Oh, Sam thing else. He has two of them. You received new messages while you're offline. Go and check what they're up to. All right, we'll have to go check uh, Lovebirds at some point. I assume it's just their dating app. Uh, we listened carefully to the demo you sent us. We wish to make you an offer and have you as a composer. Interesting. We finished the required paperwork and sent you a contract to this address you provided. Uh, he sent it back. Contract received. The first transfer will be sent in 30 days. 
We would also be interested in other compositions. I've sent a flash drive to your address with film sequences. Okay, cool. Uh, here are my suggestions for the sequences you've sent. I've numbered them in the same order as the sequences you've sent me. Okay. Alright, so he's getting paid. He's doing his job and stuff. Alice, what was happening? Huh? Can't you guess? I'll give you 24 hours to figure it out. I'll tell you everything at the movies tomorrow. Okay. Is there a chance we could meet earlier than planned at the movie theater later, like three minutes earlier? Um, okay, so this is when, when, uh, they were talking about his brother, Tio's brother. Alright, board game stuff, they have weekly reminders. More lovebird stuff. You feeling sick? Hang in there. Uh, okay. Well, it's nice that they, they, he still is like talking to people. So it's like, okay, let's go to lovebirds. Same thing. Fuck. What's a, they were talking about how dates are important to him. What's a date that would be important to him? Alice's birthday, maybe? When's Alice's birthday again? Or Melissa's birthday? Uh, movie Melissa, something, something, something. Oh crap, I don't remember if we know. My 18th. One of these dates is gonna be the, the date that, uh... Oh, this is when he called Tio. Yeah, one of these dates is gonna be the time that, um... Is the password for lovebirds, I think. But we'll have to figure it out later. I don't think there's anything we can do here. We got through the email. Oh, I don't think we can see any of the downloads. Okay, that's fine. This music's a bop. I like it. Alright, what do we want to do next? I think the only thing we can do now is um, try to get into Lovebirds. Maybe it'll just be the day he activated the account. You know? Like... 1701 2016. 1701. Oh, it's just 1701. Wrong password, okay. 0117. Nope. Then it might be something to do with. What day did he break up with Alice? Or with the Melissa? Uh, or you know what? Let's check the email where he tells Alice about everything. Big, big confession. Okay, so 0701. But he puts the month first. So it would be 0107. Fuck. 0701. Because it's... I can't do more than four, right? Yeah. Let's Well, let's just check this. Yeah, okay. It does have to be a date though, cause and I think there's nothing else we can do right now. So I think we just have to figure out a date that would make sense. Let's go through the calendar. I don't think that carrot that's gonna be it. I don't think that's gonna be it. I feel like this might be it. 3112. Let's try 1231. That one felt like it was gonna be right. So I'm a little disappointed that wasn't. Okay. And I don't know if these both would have the same one. Like, would this maybe be 0701? Or 0107? Why do you make two accounts as well? Mm hmm. Interesting. He made it on the 17th. What happened on the 17th? Nothing. But the next day was the museum trip. <sighs> What's a date that would be important to this guy? A math exam, another book club thing, dad's birthday. Maybe this, the departure, 2412. But I doubt that would matter to him. 1224. Uh, 2412. Yeah. Interesting. 
Maybe his birthday? I don't know if I tried this already. 0131. That's probably the simplest one, honestly. Fucking should have known it. Of course, it's the easiest one. I should have just gone with his birthday from the first one. Is it the same here? Uh, 0131. No, it's not. 3101. Alright, well, let's we'll just read the other one. I'm a nice 18 year old boy with blue eyes. I love board games, jazz, and music, and good music movies, but I'm not much of a reader. I've just come to have a long and com complicated relationship. I don't know what I'm looking for here yet. Maybe true love? I don't really know if you can find that sort of thing on the internet, but you never know. What I'm not looking for is people who are liars. I really don't like lies. Why do people lie so much? Well, I do admit I lie every now and then, especially my mom. It's for her own sake. If she knew what I was up to, she would freak out. And you, dear profile reader, do you lie occasionally, but to avoid hurting someone's feelings? People you may know, and then... Her, her mean me her me her me mean okay a pepper pot looking for a salt shaker to spice up her life great muet love a bird that loves the great wide open sky but not cages and then asulk asulk has not completed her profile yet okay cool all right let's read some of this guy's messages i can't click anything else i don't think all right uh welcome to lovebirds the dating app you've chosen to create a free account as such you can re receive messages from pretty girls and reply to them you cannot however start a conversation on your own for that you only need to subscribe make the best of it right now we have a welcome offer this is so real this is exactly how actual dating apps set up their bullshit you've piqued my curiosity what do you lie to your mom about hmm, let's say i didn't exactly tell her the whole truth about where i'm going oh big secrets the places you go must be very special if you don't tell your mom i'm definitely super curious right now Tell me everything. What's your big secret Sam thing? I'm not going to tell you. Uh, I'd love to be a fly on the wall to hear your conversation with your mom and try to work out the truth from the lies. Haha, <laughs> I'm a detective. This is weird. This is a weird conversation. This is very weird. Hello, I like your profile. Sorry, I didn't see your message last night. Thank you. Tell me something about yourself. What are you reading right now? Uh, nothing. I don't really like reading all that much. It's on my profile. I thought you'd read it, no? Damn. He's a dick. Oh my god, we got so much in common. I like guys with blue eyes, but honestly, when I read your profile, I was like, OMG, I like board games, although, okay, I haven't played for like years, but I used to like them. I also lie sometimes, but like, I lied to my ex because I didn't want to hurt him, because he isn't the kind of guy who likes truth anyway. And guess what? I'm not much of a reader either, but I've seen all the series. Okay. Sometimes I read like magazines on my phone or tablet when I'm at the office, but books are boring. It's like the one that I read once, but it was just that about. The life of a top model, like based on her life, and that was cool. I learned a lot. Hello? <laughs> These texts were within like six minutes. Great. Wow. This guy gets some weird people in his DMs. But he also doesn't try to reply. Like, he does not want to talk to people. So, why did I unlock this? What was the reason for unlocking this? Am I trying to get into something else? I think they made both- I think he made both accounts on the same day. Yeah. Dear Sam- Dear Sam thing, greetings and welcome, and then dear something else. Mm-hmm. He's been getting new messages for Sam thing. But he never got anything for something else. Oh, no, he did. From Roland89 and Feel Free. Oh, he's got one for women. He's got one for men. I think. Hmm. Well, did I try his birthday for the other one? What was his birthday? It was supposed to be... It was 3101, right? So, let's try 3101 again. I, I think I've already tried it. And let's try 0131. No, okay. So we gotta find another thing. So maybe he doesn't like women at all. Maybe that's why he left her. And why he's been so quiet with his dad. You know? Because they were so happy. Men can be complex sometimes too. Oh, dude, for sure. He's just... He's not even bisexual or pan. He's just gay. He doesn't like women at all. Ooh. So the confession to Alice was that he's gay. Not that he liked her. So maybe that movie 
No, but that movie happened after. Cause I think he made the he made the account on this day. So all of these dates can't matter unless they're like yearly. Cause this is yearly, so obviously he made his account this day. But or he made his password that day. What would be another date that would be important to him? What's like a yearly thing or something? We could try all these dates again. 2112, we would try. 2112 or 1221. Nope. This is uh, going to take a minute, I think. I think we... Did we do this? 1231? I don't think so. Thirty-one, twelve. I knew I should have tried every password for both accounts, but I only did it for the top one, and that's my fault. That is my fault. Twelve twenty-four could be it this time. Her leaving could have been his. Nope. Book festival. He said he was going to like a book festival thing and it could have been like something else, like a party. 1912, okay. Uh, where is it? 1912, and I think I'm, I think he's gonna make it 1219 if anything. I'm testing both. Boom, look at that, I'm a detective, boys. Oh, the book festival is something else for sure. Okay. Something else, 18 year old female, he writes himself as female. Nice 18 year old girl with blue eyes and then he says everything the same. I haven't put a picture on my profile because I like, feel comfortable with my looks, but maybe I'll share one with you someday. Lake water on tap. Not taking this too seriously, just around, feel free to say hi. Sexy broccoli has not completed the profile. And FK108 has not completed. Okay. Welcome to Lovebirds, the dating app that's completely free for women. You won't even have to wait for curious guys to come your way. Okay, I like that. That's funny. Your profile sounds very interesting. I'd love to get to know you better. Fancy coffee. I'm just out of a relationship. Just want to make new friends. Hello, my name is Paul and I'm, I'm new on the website. I would really like to meet a nice woman who wants to have a life full of love and lots of babies with me. I want to have a big family and love my wife forever and have a happy life. I want my wife to be like my princess and I will work a lot for her to make... Her very happy. I'm a good man with a good job and a lot of money in the office. I like dates with beautiful women and going to cinema and good restaurants. I would like a lot to meet you, but now it is not possible because I live in Ivakistan. Iv Give me your email address and I'll send you my telephone number so we can talk and like each other. I want to see a photo of your beautiful face and I can also send you my photos with my family. Please answer me. Um, pre very Pretty girl, how are you? I'm very intrigued by your profile. It sounds very suggestive. I wonder who is behind those beautiful words. It's such a pity that you, won't have a f you don't have a photo. I'd love to see your... Eyes and your smile and more. Do you have a webcam? Do you live here? Or are you just visiting? I got a big apartment. Okay. Hi, have a pick. Okay. What are you looking for? Are you interested in meeting? Nice guy here. Looking for fun and maybe more. Big tool. Imagine calling yourself a big tool. And then, hello, Phil Free. Hello, Sam thing else. Is Phil your real name? I'm Sam. Nice to talk to you, Sam. Yes, I'm Phil. Oh, I hope your surname is free. It sounds so cool. I truly hope it wasn't my, only my nickname that caught your attention. No, no, I quite liked your profile, especially the part where you're very open about being bisexual and getting involved in fighting against all kinds of discriminations. It's so different from the others. I maybe want to read it several times. It just gave me good vibes, I guess. Oh, I'm going to blush. Thank you for your kind words. Don't be slow. I'm impressed. It is very inspiring. You must be a courageous person. Oh, you know, it's not really brave to be honest with yourself on the internet under a pseudonym. Under pseudonym. I'm only starting to accept myself and it took quite a while. Really, what specifically made it possible for you? I owe that to my friends I made at the LGBT center in my town. I received a lot of support from them and in the end I understood it wasn't- I wasn't a weird freak and I had to accept myself for who I am. You don't need to explain to me what LGBT means. I go to the LGBT center in my town as well. Oh, are you bisexual as well? Uh, I'll tell you more next time. I have to go. Relatives coming tomorrow. I can't sleep late today. Okay, see you, t see you soon. Sam, how are you? Do you enjoy your family time? Hi, Phil. I'm convinced I'm not too happy. It really wasn't a good time for me. What happened? Yeah, welcome back, Shrek. My relatives are quite old school, not really open to LGBT topics. You know what I mean? I do. Did you try to come out and went badly? Oh, no, I didn't, won't even try with them. They'd kick me out immediately. That sucks. You think they'd be that bar to have a de bisexual daughter? I don't know about that. Maybe they accept it, but I don't think they'd accept the idea that their son is a girl very easily and bisexual as well. 
Oh, so, okay, so Sam is trans. I see you didn't tell me you were a trans woman. Sorry, does that bother you or make you upset? Not at all. I'll be the last person to judge you on that. I promise I've made many trans... Oh, so, he okay, so she is bi. It's just uh, the confession Alice was that she's trans. Not at all. I'll be the last person to judge you on that. I promise I've made... Many, I've made many trans friends with the LGBT Center, and I've heard how uh, hard life can be for them with family for sure, but even more how people look at you and talk about you as if they all had their say in how they should, you should lead your life, even though they don't know you. Hydrate, thank you. I've been reading for so long. I appreciate that. Do you have examples? Thank you, Shrek. A lot. I have a trans friend who gets asked all the time in the street, if she's a woman or a man. Seriously, how should that matter? I have another friend who often gets approached by people who don't know him that well. As soon as they learn he's trans, they ask him about sex, how's that work? It's really not the question you need to ask someone you know nothing about, but since he's trans, there's no need for basic decency. Yeah, it's disgusting. I haven't got a lot of bullshit yet, but that's mainly because I've only got, I've only told a couple people. It's difficult to accept and be true to oneself, but the most important person in your life is you. It's, it's complicated, I'm still young, I'm not comfortable with my own skin, my parents and environment don't know anything. They're not tolerant and think I'm the perfect son. What's the deal with the environment? Uh, have you ever, have you never talked to anyone about you? More or less, I guess, to some people. I don't mean to be intrusive, I don't wanna, I just want help, but we can stop chatting about it if you want. No, it's okay, I like chatting with you, you know how to listen, you make me feel safe. I can't tell my parents, they don't love me for who I am, but who they want me to be. You know, if you really can't stand your family anymore, there are several LGBT centers that also offer housing for young people who want a new start. That's good to know. Are you have friends to turn to? I mean, people who know you're trans? My best friend Alice knows. I can trust her always. That's nice to read. Tell me more about Alice. I already like her. I met her lo not long ago at a games club where I used to go on Sundays. The thing is, I was going to this club as a girl, Samira. I was even wearing a wig. Oh, that's very brave of you. I'm glad you felt confident to do it. Thanks. Well, it didn't go as well as I expected. In the end, some asshole found out, and now she's starting to tell the others if I go back. I stopped going there. Oh, we saw that girl threatening, threatening Sam. Don't let her threaten you, I'm so proud of you, and have you tried to seek somewhere else? I mean, apart from your LGBT association and your friend, uh, Alex. My friends told me that since in, uh, a few months ago, there's a new forum for young trans people. There are more and more users and topics every month. This is the link. We'll click on that in a sec. I know the BU, of, I'm already a member. Maybe I've chatted with some of your friends. Maybe I can tell you, them to send you an invitation for the VIP section. Not necessary, thank you, I've already got one. Now I'm really curious about what you look like, brave girl. Honestly, I'd really like to see you with a smile comfortable on your own or under your wig. Again, only if you want to, of course. I only have one where I think I'm pretty because I have my wig on. I need to look for it too. I erased it from my phone, but I share it on the BU form. I can search the form and find it for you, but only if you can send me one of you first. Deal, here it is. This is me. You're very handsome. Thank you very much, Millie. And now it's your turn. Draft, touch to attach a file. Here's mine. Please don't judge. Uh, I don't think we have it. We'll we'll look for it. And we'll, we'll add it. And try to get his response. Okay. Um... BU, same thing. Board rules, introductions, general ranting, coming out, hormones, and operations, beauty, hobbies and free time, VIP. Oh, I need the password. Okay, we'll figure it out. Board rules. Two part. This form is two parts. One public, one VIP. Upon registration, everyone has access to the public part. Feel free to talk. Uh, use it anonymously. Do not give personal information. For that, you've got the VIP section. VIP is a place where you can talk about yourself using your name or not. You can upload photos of yourself, exchange telephone numbers, arrange meetings. You need a personal invitation for someone who's already there. We're trying to keep this system strict. So who would have given her the information? Hi, this part is the introductions. Okay, so this is kind of like Discord. It's kind of, you know, it's a forum. I'll start off uh, by introducing myself and hope it encourages the rest of you to do it too. I'm Tessie Star. I'm 22. I'm a trans woman who's been using hormone for three years. The fact that I'm a woman has always been obvious. Even when I was small, I already wanted to play with dolls and use my mom's makeup. It always made her laugh. I'm the youngest of family of four children. She's only had boys, so she was happy. I was interested in the same things as her. I was also lucky enough to grow up in a really open, understanding town, and uh, to have a to have a trans aunt who came out way before me and was accepted by everyone in the family. Being around online and realized that while coming out for me would be very easy, it wasn't the same for everyone. I was shocked when I saw some statistics: the higher attempted suicide rate among trans people. That's what made me motivate me to find this forum, to found this forum. Uh, I told myself that there were probably other young people around me who would need support. Okay. I'm Sam Thing, I'm 17, I don't really know what I am, and I'm feeling kind of lost at the moment. Uh, I came from a town that's not very open, never met anyone that's openly gay, let alone trans. I didn't even know the word trans for ages since I found it online. I always saw myself as a guy, even though I always hated traditional masculine activities. Um, 
My cousin made fun of me for not. I think T.O. had this conversation about not keeping up with sports news. I've always gotten on better with girls. They tell me to treat me like girlfriends, some other secrets. And I really like that they treat me like that. My cousin also make fun, make fun of, makes fun of me because I enjoy playing the harp. You read that I'm a boy and I play the harp. I've loved it ever since I was little. Of course, I'm the only boy at my music school who plays the harp. Uh, I'm, a, I'm H says so. Um. And I'm a 23 year old trans guy. I volunteer a lot at the LGB Center. It's, old, it's a tiny center because I come from a quite old fashioned town. We don't get any funding. Uh, Sam thing, you seem quite confused. You know, just playing the harp and not enjoying sports doesn't mean you're not a guy. It's society that tries to make us believe that girls like this and boys should like that. But you're free to like what you want and who you want to, of course. Uh, I agree with H says so, but I admit I wasn't feeling. Uh, I wasn't completely honest in my first post. I left out some of the story. Last June, there was a concert at my school just before summer vacation. It was super important to me. It was also my last year at the music school because I was just about to get my diploma. So an important concert requires a certain outfit. We all had identical outfits because all the harpists play together. We had to reuse the same uh, stage costumes that had been used for another school concert several years ago, but they only had costumes for girls. So we had to get one made for me as soon as possible. I said that while we were waiting for it, I joked and said that I could play in one of the girl costumes. Of course, the school said no, but a harpist friend who... I'll call V, let me your concert dress for fun. I tried it on, I don't really know what happened. I might have just been trying it on for a joke, but when I looked at myself in the mirror, something clicked. I can't really say it felt good, more that I felt really confused. Then V said, hey, Messi, you look pretty, really pretty. I know she said that to make me laugh, but right at the moment, it felt, I felt happy. Yeah, I was happy she said that. Sudden intense happiness that suddenly vanished as soon as I realized what it meant, might mean. I know that it made me a bit sad when my boy's costume arrived and I was a bit disappointed I had to wait for the concert. I don't know where I am. I feel like I don't know who I am anymore, but I want to try dressing as a woman again, but I daren't. I'm ca ca Captain Capcake. I identify as non-binary. Not going to tell you my age. Um, I think what you felt was gender euphoria. Uh, it doesn't necessarily mean you're a trans woman. It's up to you to find yourself and see what you what makes you happy. Da -da -da -da. I've, uh, I should mention I'm pretty in Josh now, so I think I could pass. Or anyway, so I think I could pass. I really want to go out and meet people, see if they perceive me as a girl, but I don't dare. Um, 19 year old trans woman, everyone around me knows or more or less accepts me. If you want to go out on the street and see if people perceive you as a girl, here's some advice. Blah blah. I don't. I'm. I, I'm not reading through all the advice because it's just real advice. It's not part of the story. Um, but I mean, if it helps you guys, you can read it. Uh, thanks for your advice. I should go out today for the first time dressed as a girl. Um, t -t -t -t. that kind of place doesn't normally ask for an ID to sign up. Uh, anything else? Just got back from the convention. It was great. No one gave me weird looks or anything or said anything to me at all. You won't believe it, but I even signed up to a board game club that had a stand there and I used a girl's name. Um, uh, Use female pronouns. I know I can trust you all anyway. Help, I know this has nothing to do with the thread, but I'm Hedibus17. But I forgot the password to my account, so I've had to make a new one. My Hedibus17 account had had access, so I'd really like to recover my password. I've already got it wrong twice. I don't want the account to get deleted. <laughs> okay, already, please stop posting every thread. You're flying the forum. I'm going to answer here and everywhere else. You post it so everyone can see my reply and not worry. If you get your password wrong, your account won't get deleted. You'll just get an automatically generated new password that'll be sent to your email. Okay. General ranting. Oh gosh. I don't, dude. I forgot how much I'd have to read. Give me a sec, boys. God damn. Oh my god. Why didn't we play some Mario Kart before? I could have used my brain a little less. It just drift, drift, you know? It sucks that I canceled today. I wanted, I really wanted to play. Maybe next week. I forgot I have Pac-Man on here. I'm literally just, I have the Switch open on my, on my left, or on my right. I know my left from my rights. And I have Pac-Man 99. I don't know if it's any good. It's just a thing that I have. I'm allowing myself to get distracted for like two seconds. I've been reading nonstop. <laughs> Um, yeah, I think we'll, I think we're gonna try stream tomorrow. I, I hope if I'm, if I'm good and not tired, you know? Whew, okay. I think this is a lot of reading. Uh, I want to figure out how to get into the, uh, VIP section. So we're gonna try to do that. Uh, 
I don't know how we would get in because it's a public forum, so they would probably DM you something, right? I, I assume we're trying to get we're trying to figure out who would have DM'd us into the VIP area and given us the password for that. Um uh, I, I, I'm trying to look for anything that pops out at me. I just got an achievement for looking through all these though, which is nice. I also gotta find that image that I sent. Right? Didn't I- didn't Sam send like an image? Maybe it was in the VIP. Oh, it probably was, because I'm pretty sure you're not allowed to even do anything in any of the other places. Let's go home. Okay, um, maybe in messages, is there anyone who would have, uh, who, who, like, knows us from the forum? Maybe. But no, they wouldn't, because the forum is all about being private, right? Like, there's nothing there. Hmm. What am I trying to look for? Uh, uh, browser. That's it. Yeah, you cannot. You oh, wait. Oh yeah, VIP. You can upload photos, exchange telephone numbers, arrange meetups. Okay. All right. So let's go back to Lovebirds. Let's see what Phil said. Uh, I need to look for it too. I erased it from my phone, but I shared it on the BU forum. Okay, so I gotta find it on the BU forum, but... How did he get... I mean, how did... Sorry, how did she get an invitation? And how do we get... Can we get Phil to send an invitation? Hmm... Oh, you know what? I think we have a file from the board game night, don't we? Hang on. I, th I feel like we have something. Uh, This one. I don't think we're supposed to have this one yet. But I don't think there's... Is this supposed to be Sam? Because this is the board game thing. Because like when I scroll, I can see it, but it's not actually here. So I don't think we're... Sp Wait, no, it is here. Oh, it's at the top. I don't know if this is the one that we're supposed to be sending. Hmm. Let's look around a little bit. Let's just send it. I mean, what's the worst that can happen? Oh, okay, okay. That's not the right one. That's not the right one. Okay, then there, yeah, we don't have any photos. So how do we get into the VIP section? It's a number. Please enter your password to access the VIP section. Okay. All right. So we already got in. It's I think it's a password that he's that, that sorry that she sets for herself that Sam sets for herself. Uh, so what would be a good number? We've already done birthday. I think we did. We did Melissa's departure. Let's try 1231. Oh, I can just, I can spam it and it'll just give me one. Father's year of birth. Uh, we can figure that out. Uh, where is it? Where's his dad's birthday? Dad's birthday is 21-12-2015. Okay, okay. Wait, oh, then we... I think it's in the images, right? Gallery. We might have to do actual math. Yeah, we do. He's 54. 
So 15 years back is 40, uh, 39, 39. So it's 39. So it's 1961, 1961, 1961. Yes. We've received an email. Let's take a look at the email. We're sending this email because you requested a new password. Uh, Seven five four three eight five. Seven five four three eight five. Seven five four three eight five. All right. Look at that. We got into the VIP section. We have a couple achievements left. Let me just see what we got left. We got four left. What are they called? One is called faster. Oh, just use the uh, shortcut to get to the top or bottom quickly. Ten times. Discover intimate secrets. Secret garden the truth complete the game and photo booth you look really beautiful so photo booth we're gonna get when we send something to um to phil all right let's read through this also let's just do this we can get we can get this achievement real quick i just gotta go up and down 10 times there we go i got it i've been doing it throughout the stream anyway all right wait i'm i'm happy now we're like making some good progress okay uh hello hey there i'm barbara from Covano Co covania i'm harry from melrin oh harry's near us uh, Clotilde from Dina Town at your service. Victor from Eliopool. Eddie here. Santa Raphael. Okay, let's keep it short and simple. Who's going to trans pride on December 19th? Me, I'm so, so, so looking forward to it. Hang on. December 19th. And that's the book festival. I knew it. I knew it. Anyway. So, so, so excited. Uh, Project haven't been since 2013. Can't wait to see you again, Chloe. I'll be there. I should be coming. I've been thinking about bringing Sam thing along. We met at the LGBT Center in Melrin. She's cool. So would it be okay to add her to the VIP section of the forum? I like to meet people in person before inviting them here. Okay, fine. I'll introduce to, to her if she comes with me to Transpride. Hi, everyone. So thanks for the invite to the VIP section. I'm honored. So yeah, I'm Samira. We met this weekend. I took loads of photos from during Transpride on my cell phone. Can I share them here? Of course, but make sure you only post the good ones here. Good ones, haha. <laughs> okay, all right, picture added to the gallery. So is that Sam, I guess? We can download all these. I think it's just everyone. That's all the pics I took. Thanks, Bora, for taking the photo of me. It's the first time I've had my picture taken in Samira. It's really great. I've shared them all now, so I'm gonna delete the, them from my phone. I'm worried my mom might see them. She's always messing with my stuff. Your photos are really cool, so you know what you should do about your mom? You should install Fake Calculator app. It's an app that looks like a real calculator, but when you install it, uh, you choose a special number, and when you enter it and press the equal button, it opens a hidden folder. Awesome. How come I only just found out about this? I already deleted all the photos. So I've installed the Fake Calculator. I'm, I've put all my sensitive stuff there now. Uh, I'm glad to help. Did you uh, make sure to choose a strong password? It's a strong password indeed, but I'm sure I won't forget. It has something to do with all of you. Okay, so it's probably the Trans Pride day the the day he went to uh she went to the book festival i love my photo i love i like to use it on a dating website i think the ones i've been using so far are really ugly how do i download it great pack you pick you just need to click on it okay uh wait okay 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 we need to go to the calculator it is the 19th 12 19 12 19 equals let me in Nope. 19, 12 equals? Nope. What is a number associated with them? What's the date that Sam got invited? 12, 20. Okay, let's try 12, 20. 12, 20 equals? No. And then 20, 12 equals? No. Um, what about just the year? 2015 or 2016? Let's try that. 2015? No. Uh, oops, 2016? Nope. Okay. Uh, what about... Are any of these, um, supposed to be Sam? I, I don't know which one would be. I don't fully remember what Sam looks like in the images that I've saw, saw seen. I feel like the skin tone would be this. 
Well, we we know that she's got blue eyes. So wouldn't it be these eyes? I don't remember. Let's just post some of them. I'm sure that the game will tell us. Let's add. Let's do this one because blue eyes. You look really beautiful in it. Was it taken during the transpratic Covonia? I recognize the state Covonia rules. It's really a nice place to live for LGBT people. Covonia. So, weather app. I knew that there was a bunch of res registered cities in here. Covonia. I think it's the zip code. 85922. Uh, oops. 85922. I'm cracked. I'm cracked out of my mind. Calculator diary. Secret garden. That's an achievement. I finally got a new phone to replace the one that got stolen. It works all right, but I got mixed feelings about it. I lost all I had on my old phone. Uh, old pictures and messages. On the other hand, I like to think there's some meaning to losing it. Maybe it's the universe telling me, come uh, come on, it's time to start a clean state. Slate. State. Take your life. I actually misspoke, but it said state anyway. Uh, take your life into your own hands. Roth, thank you for the sub uh, with Prime. I appreciate it, bro. Six months currently on a two month streak. Yo, hell yeah, dude. You're at half a year. Hope you're doing well, bro. We're doing a little puzzle game. Uh, it's called a normal lost phone. We've learned about Sam's life. Uh, she's a trans bisexual girl who is kind of learning. You know, she just broke up with her girlfriend because she didn't think it would work and stuff. So it's like this interesting story about, you know, teenagers coming to life and shit. Uh, tomorrow there's a meeting for the support group for LGBT teens. Maybe I'll convince myself to go. I went to the support group's meeting. I had to make up something for my mom to let me go. I told her I joined a book club. She's so excited about it that she made a cake for me to bring. She does everything she can to help me make new friends. Though if she knew the kind of friends I made there, I'm not sure she'd be baking so many cakes. Been looking for about 20 minutes watching you stalk them. Yeah, yeah, I've been, uh, I've been, I've been stalking her. This is, uh, the goal of this game is to stalk. I don't feel bad because it's what I have to do. <laughs> um... Board games meeting was great today, but Melissa was so annoying afterwards. She threw yet another fit because of Alice. I have to say it bothered me that she gets so jealous. On the other hand, I absolutely cannot w cannot have Melissa meet Alice. Alice thinks I'm Samira, but to Melissa, I'll be Samuel. I'll always be Samuel to her. Ooh. Damn. I'll have to tell Melissa one day, but for now, I just don't feel like I can do it. Plus, we've been together for three years, and she probably thinks it's a together forever kind of deal. Me too, I'm head over heels for her, but I know she wouldn't be okay with Samira. Thankfully, Melissa doesn't want to have sex before I'm getting married, because honestly, I really do not want to be naked in front of her for now. I don't feel comfortable enough with my body for that. Today's support group, people invited me to come out to at least one person I trust. I thought I could always tell... I always talk to Alice about it this Sunday. She thinks I'm a lesbian since I told her about Melissa. She probably wouldn't take it badly if I admitted to her I was born Samuel. What she did, I expected to come out to Alice today during our board games afternoon meetup. Not only did I not manage to do it, I also ended up withdrawing completely, stuck in my little shell. Lola, the stupid moron, told me she had to talk to me about something private. So apparently her boyfriend goes to the same school as me. And upon seeing his class photo, she recognized me, but like a Samuel. So obviously she asked questions. I took come up with something like having a twin and the likes, but I ended up swearing something, feeling embarrassed. She told me I could tell her that she was being all, you know... Samara, you can trust me with her teeny bopper voice. Turns out I told her everything. What a mistake. She took it way too bad. She told me I was a monster that she didn't want me to come and play with them ever again. I just feel like dying. Fuck, dude. Tomorrow's Transpired. I'm so excited I can barely sleep. Transpired was amazing. I just felt like I belonged for the first time in my life. No one to judge me. It was great. And Cavonius is just such a sweet city. I'd love to live there rather than Melrin. Seriously, Melrin is the most bigoted city in the world. I'm pretty sure, pretty certain that half the population don't even know what LGBT stands for. It was my dad's birthday tonight. We had a cozy evening. It was only my parents and Melissa. It was just unpleasant. They talked about queer couples' rights to adoption. I didn't know my parents were sort of closed minded on the topic, and apparently so is Melissa. My dad is super homophobic. I'll never dare come out to him. The book club thing reminded me of the Pride Fest I went to the other weekend. Oh, hell yeah. Would you, uh, like, did, did you go with, like, family, or, like, how was it? And also, how does it, how does it remind you of that, like, in what way? Because for Samira, like, she's uh lying to get to go and pretending to go to a book club do you just remember going because of it uh what a bit day i broke up with melissa we were gonna meet up tonight to celebrate the new new year just the two of us i thought it was gonna be relaxed even but she was gonna be that she was gonna be tired because of the flight but that didn't seem to be the case like at all she even wanted to go all out tonight to think she always told me she wanted to wait until getting married all of a sudden she sends me a pic of the lingerie she was gonna wear tonight i suppose she felt threatened by alice and thought it was a way to keep me around for longer but like no way i just didn't feel like i could keep lying to her 
but I couldn't tell her the truth either. Melissa's mom called me. Apparently, she tried to commit suicide on New Year's Eve. Fuck, I can't believe it. It's my fault. It's so fucking idiotic. I'm the worst. I felt awful after hearing the news. I ended up calling Alice. I came clean, told her everything. She was terrific. It really did me good to finally tell the truth. But it doesn't change anything about the fact I feel like crappy as a Melissa. Shit, how could she do this? Melissa told me I was toxic. Honestly, I do not deserve to live. I've been contacted by Loud Note who are interested in my music. I'm all joy and happiness. I signed up to a dating website today. Alice convinced me it was the best way to think about something other than Melissa. I'm not really sold. For starters, the website doesn't seem at all, at all open to homosexual or bisexual people. No way to check profiles of your own gender. I had to create two accounts to explore different profiles. I really wonder if this was a good idea. I don't even really know what I'm looking for. So after it was all over, there was a family walking in the park where it happened and a child was asking whether there were so many people in the park and the mother just said it was a party and the child responded, oh, like a yard sale party, aww. <laughs> So we kept referring to the Pride Fest at a yard sale party. Yeah, hell yeah, that's fun. That's nice. Um, <laughs> uh, I think I read this one. Okay, dude, my arms are like dead. I don't know. I don't know what is up with my hands. I think it's because we were at the arcade yesterday and we we're playing so many games. Everything hurts. My hands are like dying. I don't know why. I think they're used to controllers. They're not made for uh, dumb sticks and buttons. You know. But yeah, it was fun. My older sibling was a vendor there selling stuff they make and whatnot. Oh, sick, dude. Hell yeah. I've never been to a Pride Fest or anything. I don't really go to like festivals and stuff. I've been to like two concerts in my life and that's about it. Never been to a drag show or like anything. I just, I barely do that stuff. I normally go to like chill stuff, like arcades like I did yesterday or hang out in my house with my friends. Just went to hang out with them. Hell yeah, dude. I'm glad it was nice. I'm glad it was chill. Um, fuck yeah, dude. I've had it. I don't know how this date could have gone any worse. First, I learned via T.O. that our parents have been lying to us for years, telling us my cousin uh, Eric had joined the cult when actually he just got kicked out when his parents discovered he was gay. Called it. Trying to come out in this fucked up family is out of question. The second terrible news of the day is that Alice is leaving Melrin. She just got in first semester abroad her uh, dream university and she's leaving very soon. My one and only support in this shitty system city is leaving. Can't even bring myself to be happy for her even though I know I should. In two days, I'll be 18. I'm not a believer today. I pray for something to happen. I just want somebody to tell me, don't mind the others, erase them all from your life. Don't keep anything from the present. Leave your boy, wardrobe, Melrin, throw away your phone, and leave to search somewhere anew. There, we just passed midnight. I've been 18 for five minutes now. I don't have to rely on my parents anymore. I'm an adult. I wish you could say a brave, independent adult person, but it's more like a trans adult stuck in Melrin. It seriously feels like if I stay one more time this day, I'll do something wrong. New email. Hey Alice, I'm writing from the computer room of the Covonia LGBT Center. I just got there and I'm planning to rebuild my life there. It's a decision I kind of went on a whim. I made it on a whim, but I really can't stay my life in Melbourne. I was stuck in there and you were really my only support. So when you told me you were leaving Melbourne, I got so depressed. In truth, you're right, I attached too much importance to dates and especially signs from fate. And I was waiting for a sign, just something. And guess what? My birthday present was a motorbike. How can I not see it as a sign? Me leaving, looking for a way to leave. I said I was going for a ride and I got away. I feel so re relieved to be gone. I wanted to erase every trace of my old life where I couldn't recognize myself, so I threw away my phone without thinking. So, well, I can't call you. That was dumb. I'll mail you, mail you my new number, I promise. On the other hand, my phone wasn't locked and anyone could find it. That really bothers me. I don't want people searching searching it. Those are my those are only traces of my old life. An old me I can't even recognize anymore. Hey Sam, I'm glad you were able to uh, gather your courage and leave to rebuild your life. Even if I'll be very far from now on, you can still count on me from when things go right, wrong. Don't worry about your phone. Most likely someone will find it, erase all the data, and keep the phone for themselves. After all, it's still an almost brand new phone. If it's someone with good intentions, they'll want to look around a bit to return to its owner. And when they look around, I'm sure they'll understand the reasons you left and will decide to erase all your data to erase every escape, every trace of your escape. Sounds like we know what we gotta do. Boom. And that's the story of Samira and all of her friends and high school and... Holy fuck, that was a good game. I... When I had to read all those texts, I was like, eh, am I going to enjoy this that much? But fuck, dude, that was amazing. That was a really good story. This one's pretty small. I don't know if I wanted want to go to a large crowd one. Also rural as well, so you had all the redneck gays there, which was great. <laughs> Big old lifted pickup truck with giant pride flags flying off the back. Dude, I love pickup trucks. I hate that they come off in a way that's like I'm homophobic, you know? I feel like they should not be because they're so cool. Um, they're just gas guzzlers, which sucks. But yeah, holy fuck, this was a really good game. Um, we really just dug deep into 
Sam's life and why she broke up with Melissa and what happened to her. I'm glad we played. I'm glad we played that. That was fun. That was interesting. Uh, and I think we got every achievement. Uh, we did. We did everything. There's nothing left to do. So, I think that's about it. I would have loved to do to stream longer today. We got an hour and a half, which is not bad. Uh, I'll be back hopefully tomorrow. I might just stream like for a while tomorrow. We'll see. The thing is, I so I just got through schoolwork. So like my sleep has been really bad the past couple days because like I there was one thing that I've been late on. Like the, the semester ended, I still hadn't finished it. So I finally finished it. So I'm done with that. I've got a sign on my board telling me all the stuff I need to edit and the timeline that I have to do it. So I want to get something out soon because I haven't edit, ed edited anything in a while. Okay, yeah, that date is right. So I should um, get some of that done. But stream will be coming back soon. I, I've been a little bit off just because, again, summer just started. I'm seeing all my friends. I've been out the past two days. I'm out again today. Um, so yeah, that's Nerf gun. Oh, oops, wrong side. Nerf gun. <laughs> I'm trying to hang it up on my wall somewhere, but I just haven't yet. Uh, no Yahtzees showed up like they had at drag events around the state, which was a plus. Nice. I assume Yahtzee is like a, a term against for people who are like homophobic. I don't know that word. Um, but yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed uh, at the VOD on the VOD side. Uh, this was fun. Uh, we'll be back soon. We'll do some cool stuff. It'll be great. And uh, yeah, I'll see you guys very soon. Take care. Goodbye.